Hey there fellow adult collectors, welcome back, David Eon here with something up from the museum and I showed this on Instagram uh, not too long ago, a few days ago, and people were pretty interested in it. This is Punchy, the Hawaiian Punch mascot, or one of the mascots. There were only two. The name of the other mascot, the guy who was always getting hit by Punchy, was Oaf. Oaf was the sucker who was always like, yes, whenever... Punchy asked him how about a nice Hawaiian punch. Oaf would always say yes, and then he would get clobbered. And this is a 16-inch talking doll. He's got a big vinyl head, and the rest of him is soft goods. And then, of course, his Hawaiian punch is vinyl as well. And he is sealed in the box. He's strapped in there. I can't get him out. I could get him out but I do not want to break him out of the container. And this was a popular commercial. It ran for about 30 years in different incarnations and actually even won awards for being very entertaining. And this was made by Fun For All and I believe it was made in 1999. And hard to believe that that's vintage now. 1999 is vintage. Man, we got old, didn't we? But the, the original commercial was aired in 1962, which I think is rather interesting because that's, if I'm not mistaken, the same year that R.J. Reynolds, that's R.J. Reynolds, the tobacco company, purchased this brand. They bought them out in 1962 and then they came up with this advertising campaign for Punchy and Oaf. And like I said, it won awards for being an entertaining commercial. It was a product that had been around for a while. Hawaiian Punch originally was an ice cream topping. It says, Punchy says, how about a nice Hawaiian Punch collectible doll? And he does say, how about a nice Hawaiian Punch? And this Punchy still works. And I'm going to play him here for you in a minute. He only says, how about a nice Hawaiian Punch, though. They could have done better than that, but that's all he ever freaking says. So that's not too interesting to have him say the same thing over and over again. But he does talk. But yeah, this is a product that was invented in 1934 as an ice cream topping, believe it or not. And it wasn't an actual beverage until 1946, like during World War II. And I think it only had two flavors then. It was the original red punch flavor and another one. I don't remember what the other one was. Not very much merchandising. You know, and I like vintage advertising icons like Punchy here. Not too much advertising uh, memorabilia was ever made for Punchy. This is the only doll that I know of. They made a few other things like uh, enamel pins. There was a board game that was made, I want to say, by Mattel. I could be wrong about that, but in like the late 70s, there was a board game. So if you ever saw little punchy figurines, colored figurines, they're from the board game. They weren't really sold separately. There was a telephone in the 80s. <laughs> telephones were a big thing in the 80s, uh, figural telephones, because they made Pillsbury, they made the Raid Bug, they made the Keebler Elf. Telephones was a big deal. For some reason back in the 80s. There's a lot of figural telephones out there. Well, let's get him in here and yes he still works and he works until he doesn't. See he says press me on his hand and I will press him here. He works until he doesn't because the way he's strapped in here I couldn't access his battery pack at least not very easily. So when he stops talking he's probably going to be stopped talking permanently and never again unless I pulled him out of this box which I do not intend to do. So here we go. And that's a quote from the commercial. You know obviously they just took a sound bite hey, and that's all he does. I mean like I said he doesn't say anything else it would be nice if he did, 
but he doesn't. He'll stick his hand back in the box. And this doesn't come off either. It's just kind of sewn into his hand. And it's supposed to be a can of Hawaiian Punch, I guess. That's what it looks like. Or a bongo. Maybe he's a beatnik. <laughs> Do you remember this character? Like I said, he's by today's standards in our modern PC culture, he's just too violent for a commercial. And they say, oh, you're using violence to try to promote something to children. Yeah, tell it to Fortnite. But, uh... <laughs> What do you think of this? Do you remember those commercials? Do you miss those? I do a lot of advertising commercials, vintage advertising commercial showcases on this channel. So look for those in our video history. I, I show vintage toys and vintage food products pretty much specifically. And I, don't, I haven't done one for Hawaiian Punch. I'll have to go through my video library and see if I have any Hawaiian Punch commercials. And maybe I can put together a compilation of those. But do you remember this character? Did you used to drink Hawaiian Punch? Or did you have to settle for Kool-Aid packets? Or worse yet, the store brand. The store brand. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below if you remember this character. Does this look like something you would like? Do you collect advertising icons? Would you want something like this in your collection? This doesn't go for a whole lot. It, it's not that that readily accessible new in the box like this. Like if you went on eBay, there might be four or five of these, but they're not that expensive. They're not that expensive. You could actually probably pick him up pretty cheap. Whether or not he works, I couldn't tell you. But like I said, he only says one thing anyway, so it's no big deal. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out our other videos. We do a lot here. We're kind of an all-in nostalgia channel, so we hope you'll join us. And what more can I say but thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. Hey, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. Good mood of you, Tennessee. Fruit, juicy Hawaiian punch. Fruit, juicy Hawaiian. <laughs> Two points. Mm.